I'm Johnny McCoy, founder and author of Miserly Moms, and welcome to part two of how we can cut our food budget. One of the most frequently asked questions is, how do I use coupons, where do I get my coupons, and other form of coupon questions. And I have to admit, I'm not the biggest coupon fan. And there are some tried and true reasons behind that. Coupons tend to be for name brand items and therefore convenience foods. Now a name brand item is going to be more expensive just because of that name. They have to recover their expenses for advertising and some of the flashy packaging. They are always more expensive than an off-brand item is for the same thing. Most off-brand items are actually provided for by name brand items and given their own label to them. So often when you're buying the King Supers brand macaroni and cheese instead of the Kraft brand macaroni and cheese, you might be getting the actual same product. So with a little bit of internet research, you can find out who your favorite mac and cheese or toothpaste manufacturer is and if the um, name brand is actually available to you in an off-brand. Convenience foods are more expensive because someone has prepared it for you, done something for you. Convenience foods tend to cost four to six times more like we talked about in video one. So you've got a coupon that's for a name brand and a convenience food, two things that are more expensive in general. So I always ask myself three questions before I use the coupon. Can I buy it any cheaper with the off brand? Can I make this item any cheaper? And most importantly is, do I really need it? There was a, a television show that I was invited to be on that liked my way of thinking, but they also liked this guy called the Coupon King. He had made this Rolodex for holding your coupons that fit on your grocery cart. And he had marketed it to one of those TV shopping networks and they thought it was really cool. So they put him on the show with me and they decided to do a shopping competition. And they assigned us each a family and each a camera crew and sent us to the store for half a day and filmed how we shopped. And then we were gonna see who won at the end of the, the shopping trip. It was a little nerve wracking because I really didn't want to be humiliated on national television. But we went ahead and shopped um, and his way was, you know, he paid his son to clip coupons out of every newspaper he could buy and magazines and internet and he had this huge system and it was very flashy to watch him shop. He had $150 worth of product and you know $79 taken off and it was all very exciting but his bottom line was around $75 for his grocery bill. So my way of shopping was very different and not quite as flashy but when we got to the cash register my final bill was only $49. So for almost half of what he had, I was able to provide the same food for the family. Now the, the, go, the guest host of the um, television show, she said, well, I see you bought a block of cheese instead of the sliced cheese. And, I, and she goes, so what do you do about that? I said, you get a knife and you cut the cheese. And you know, she just was flabbergasted that you can't have the convenience of a sliced cheese versus a block cheese. Those were really the only biggest issues that came up between my things in my grocery cart and the things in the uh, coupon cart. A little bit of convenience. But when you're really working on trying to cut your budget, a little bit of convenience is really very minor when it can save half of your grocery bill.